Hey my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. Today we're doing an unboxing, an install, and a bit of a product review on one of the lower cost folding tonneau covers for the Ford Maverick. This is the X-Dang Trifecta E-Series. Okay, so let's get started. This is the box that it came in. I had it shipped to me. I've already taken the liberty of cutting the sides and opening it up. So inside what we find here is the pre-packaged item. Instructions are right here. And it's pretty much ready to install. The instructions that came with it are very easy to understand. The first thing it tells us to do is to place it up on top of the bed rails and start to unfurl it and fold it out into its full size and then place it. And going to lay it out on top of the bed, these straps actually go at the very front. So we're going to turn it this way and set it like this. The instructions then say to snug it up into place where you intend to have it. Now I will point out that this does have rubber seals on the bottom to help make it watertight to your actual cab and your bed, but it's not entirely 100% watertight. They just aren't. There are seams here in the rubber and you have divots and seams here into these connections. It's not meant to be a 100% watertight item. That said, I'm gonna get it into place, do our best to center it, now that I've got this folded out into place where I want it, I've got about a quarter inch gap at the front of the cab and about a quarter inch gap between the end of the tonneau cover and the lip on my rear tailgate. It's for the most part centered as it's gonna get. Now the next thing they tell us to do is to gently fold this up so that we can get underneath it and attach the front clamps. Now, one of the things in the instruction says that if your plastic extends below the actual steel on your bed rail, you want to actually get under here and get a little bit of a bite out of this plastic so that when you put that clamp under here, it's actually touching metal. Now, in my case, the fit's very good. The metal and the plastic are flush with one another, so that's not going to be an issue. Once you get this in place, you need to get underneath here and put on the front tethers. Now, in my case, I've got both an aftermarket, well, factory accessory drop-in bed liner, and this is an aftermarket part here. So, guess what? There was a little bit of a piece of plastic in my way to put the front claps on, but it just took a screwdriver up in there to sort of give that some space so that I could tighten those front cab clamps down and get this nice and tight and snug so that It'll help hold it in place when I'm driving. Now, when this is up, this can actually be connected up front with these straps, and that is how you're going to drive with it. The next part that has to be connected here are these extra tethers that clamp onto the bed rail. These are sort of an extra set of safety tethers in case this thing decides it's going to move or come loose on you while you're driving down the highway if you've got this in the up position like this. And so those are clamped on. So now what we need to do is fold this back and attach the rear clamps. The rear clamps are actually easily installed. They're meant to be easy to put on and take off so that you can do it on the fly when you're coming and going. Just like that. And that's it. I'm gonna shut my tailgate and we are done. As far as fit and finish, I'm very pleased with this. This fits on the bed very well. I've got a good quarter inch gap all the way around. It centers, it fits nice and snug. And when I drive down the road, I don't get any fluttering from the thing, which is a good thing. You might notice there's a little bit of puckering on the sides where the folds are. Right now I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt as it just came out of the box. I'm gonna give it a little bit of time in the sun and see how that works out if those smooth out just a little bit. 
one of the things I really wanted to do here, and I think I've succeeded, is determine how one of the lower cost tonneau covers actually works. And in so doing, uh, I will say that I looked at a number of them. There's one from Rough Country that's under $300, and I like that one, almost came close to buying it, but uh, the hardware, at least what I saw in the pictures, didn't look quite as robust as it is on this one. Now you can spend five, six hundred dollars on some folding covers that are a little bit better than this. Again, I really wanted to see what one of the lower cost solutions was all about. Now you can open the tailgate on this, no problem at all. You can open and close it freely and when it's locked and this is on, you do have a somewhat secure way of going out shopping and, and keeping things in the back of your truck from time to time. It's a nice extra layer of protection if you're taking a bunch of stuff camping and you want some way at least of keeping things out of view. Well, there you have it for our unboxing, install and product review on the X-Dang Trifecta E-Series soft folding tonneau cover. This is a product that I would definitely recommend you look at I'm not selling it. This is not a paid product placement thing. This is just something that we put on our long-term tester and we've done a lot of installs for a lot of different accessories. You can see our entire playlist of that right there. A lot of installs, a lot of products, a lot of do-it-yourself projects, as well as test drives, technicals, a lot of stuff on the Maverick if you're into that. So there you go. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel right below that and stay informed of everything we do.